Hello friends. This is Codeigniter chat application tutorial series, and in this part, we will discuss how receiver user can accept chat request. In previous part, we have discussed how to load chat request notification data with user profile picture, user name and accept button. Now in this part, we will discuss how receiver user can accept chat request. So when receiver user click on accept button, then both user can chat with each other. For this things, we have go to chatview.php file, and here we have write dollar document selector with on method, with click event, button class accept button, so when user click on accept button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id so it will fetch id attribute value and store under id variable after this we have write chat request id variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write chat request id it will fetch data from data chat request id attribute. Now we have start write ajax request, with first option url set to php echo statement with base url method, with chat controller slash accept request, it will send request to chat controller accept request method. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send form data server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write chat request id variable value has been sent to server. In fourth option, we have write before send callback function. This function will be called before Ajax request has been sent. Under this function, we have write dollar with id variable with attribute method. And under this we have write disabled. It will disable accept button. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function will be called after completing Ajax request. Under this function, we have write dollar with id variable with attribute method. And under this we have disabled property set to false. After this, we have write dollar with id variable with remove class method and under this we have write button success it will remove button success class next we have write dollar with id variable with add class method and under this we have write button warning it will add this button warning class Lastly, we want to change accept button text. We have write dollar with id variable with text method. And under this we have write accepted. It will change button text. So, here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to chat controller. And here we have make accept request method. This method will received Ajax request. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post chat request id variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, 
we have write dollar update data variable is equal to array with key chat request status with value accept below this we have write dollar this with chat model with update chat request method with two argument in first argument we have write dollar post chat request id and in second argument we have write dollar update data variable this method will update chat request data now we have go to chat model class and here we have make update chat request function with two argument like dollar chat request id and dollar data variable under this function we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument in first argument we have write chat request id and in second argument we have write dollar chat request id variable after this we have write dollar this with database object with update method with two argument in first argument we have write chat request table and second argument we have write dollar data variable it will make update query and execute update query so here our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser friends here we have login into Adonis Martin user account and this user has received chat request from John Martin user which we can see here. Now we have refreshed web page. After refresh of web page here we can see chat request notification which has been received from John Martin with accept button. Now we have click on accept button. After click on accept button, here button color and text has been changed. Now both user can chat with each other. Now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page. Here we can see chat request notification has been removed from notification area. So this way receiver user can accept chat request. Now in next part, we will discuss how to load accepted user list in chat user area. We will discuss in next part.